Hey everybody, we have arrived at the month of May. Can you believe that? We are wrapping up the school year and spring semesters of Bible studies and all the things are wrapping up and all the things are getting excited and pointing towards the summer. But now we're looking forward to that summer and I want you to know about some things that are gonna be happening in the next 30 days as we prepare together. You know, this is the first update of the month and we've got a lot to cover. So I wanna encourage you to lock in, watch for a few minutes because I want you to be aware of everything. Before we jump into the summer, let's not run past all, of, all that's happened really in the last 30 days. We had an awesome Easter weekend with thousands of people here in the gospel. And then after that, student ministry had a big dodgeball tournament. And right after that, we hosted a men's event uh, with my friend Lex Luger, and we had great Cajun food. We called it Eat Like a Man. That was a lot of fun. Uh, there were multiple decisions for the Lord, by the way. Over a thousand men attended. But man, that was my favorite part, watching men give their life to Jesus. And then the very next weekend, the ladies gathered for the well, which was another phenomenal event right in the midst of just an incredible season of ministry. Hey, in the midst of all that, we've had great Sunday worship services, New Hope Pregnancy Care Center, and FCA also hosted great events here at the church. And we just wrapped up a senior adult revival that many of you attended, which once again was incredible. When you see all God is doing among our church, you can't help but get excited to be a part of it. And you can't help but notice that the hand of God and the favor of God is falling on the family of God. Coming up this Thursday, we have a special citywide prayer gathering called the National Day of Prayer. And our church is the host location for our local National Day of Prayer gathering. There will be a combined choir made up of churches from across the area. Pastors and leaders are gonna be taking time to pray for specific things facing our families and our town and our nation. And I wanna personally invite you to be a part of the National Day of Prayer gathering this Thursday at 6 p.m. in the Worship Center. You say, well, I don't need to go to that. Yes, you do. Hey, you need to be a part of this. Locking arms with other believers in this city, and you can share those details with friends or even uh, family members, people that you believe ought to be in the room, uh, and just invite them to join us. We're gonna gather together. It's gonna be a powerful time of worship and prayer, and you can find out more information about this event on our website. As you know, I'm in the middle of a revelation study on Sundays. Uh, we've titled this series, Revealed, where we're uncovering the mystery of revelation. It's been a great study, a lot of fun for me to present and prepare for every single week. And uh, we look forward to all that God has in store for us in the future, and it, it makes it even more real when you unpack the truth of God's word. This series will continue on Sundays, and I would just like to encourage you to invite somebody to join you and bring them with you. This is a study that a lot of people have questions about. We all wanna know what's gonna happen next, and I'd love just for us to have that time together on Sundays. Speaking of Sundays, this Sunday is Cinco de Mayo. It's the fifth day of the fifth month of the year. And we are taking time uh, this special Sunday to invite friends to be a part of our gatherings together on Sunday morning. It's kind of an old school bring a friend Sunday, but we're, we're taking the Cinco de Mayo theme and we're just, we're just going for it in a lot of different ways. One of the ways, we're going to have free breakfast burrito stations all throughout our, our facilities on that day, in the lobby, in the commons. And so bring some friends, bring some hungry friends, grab some burritos, Let's have some time of fellowship in the commons and just enjoy one another. You know, in Cleveland, Tennessee, uh, this church has really made a great impact. And a lot of people have questions about how to get involved in this church or how to join this church. Also on Cinco de Mayo, following our final service, we're going to be hosting a Discover First Lunch where people can find out more about what it means to be a member of First Baptist Cleveland. And if, if you have those questions or you would like to be a part of that luncheon, I would encourage you to come. These lunches are going to take place once again after the last service at each campus, both in Cleveland and in Ottawa. And you can find out more about that Discover First Lunch or Discover Spirit City Lunch on the website. On May the 12th, we're going to be having another special Sunday uh, that's going to be focusing on mothers, and graduates. This is a special day every single year where we gather together and we honor you as mom. And we, we thank you for being a mom who loves the Lord. And we challenge you to be the woman that God wants you to be. We're also going to be celebrating graduates on that Sunday. 
as so many in our church are crossing that major milestone of graduation, and I know that you'll want to be a part of that service as well. You know, there's a lot happening as we move towards the summer, towards summer vacation, toward, towards summer activities, and one of the things we have at the very beginning of the summer each year is something called Vacation Bible School. It's right around the corner, it's the first week of June, and then Camp Cherokee is following right after that. Hey, take some time to go online at firstbaptistcleveland.com and to check these events out. Look at the details, look at the dates, the times, and then go ahead and sign your kids or your grandkids up to be a part of these great days that are going to be happening this summer. These are moments that will impact students for the rest of their life. Once again, all the details for summer events are available at firstbaptistcleveland.com. As we conclude First Update, I want to specifically ask you to pray. Pray that God would continue working in our church and through our church, and pray that God would continue changing lives as a result of the ministry of this church. And thank Him for how He continues to bless. Hey, ask God how, how you might be involved, even to a greater degree, in giving and serving and praying and living, because in the days ahead, we're gonna need more foot soldiers that are committed to living their life for the Lord. Hey, remember, we are all about loving God. We're all about finding community. We're all about making a difference. That goes for my life, it goes for your life, and I'm praying God's very best for you today. God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.